Hi you guys, this is Serena. Um, I'm back with another video. I wanted to clear some things up that uh, I feel like a lot of people on YouTube who have curly hair don't say. And it's mostly because they are not hairstylists themselves. Curly haired influencers, some, most of them are not, they're educated by what they have taught themselves throughout the way, which isn't a bad thing at all. Like, I, I commend you guys so much because a lot of things I have learned from other YouTubers who are not hairstylists. But the things that I do know, I went to school for, paid a whole bunch of money to become a hairstylist. I work with curly hair. So I'm just gonna kinda, I, put, I even wrote these things down because I didn't know. I wanna forget what I'm saying and kinda like, ramble on about things that don't matter in this video because this video is really important and I want a lot of a lot of you with curly hair to understand your hair because for a long time I grew up not understanding my curls and not understanding my hair in general so I straightened it so I put in the wrong products I went out and bought hella sorry about my language I bought so many products that I thought were gonna help my hair, but they did not help my hair at all. If anything, they prolonged my health, uh, my healthy hair journey. So this is a video to really inform you on your healthy hair and how to obtain healthy hair, how to continue to grow your hair to be healthy. So what I'm really gonna just start off with is a haircut. Again, something I, I didn't even do in the beginning of my healthy hair journey until I knew I needed it. I'll show you a picture of my first video and this was before I got my chop. Again, I was a hairstylist at this time too, but you, we have this thing inside of us. Women in general, have, a lot of women, they, we put our beauty in our hair, which is why we should really take care of our hair. We put our integrity into our hair. So we think that our beauty comes from our hair, which honestly isn't the case at all. Your beauty does not come from just your hair. It comes from inside. It, it helped me loving myself more, you know? And I feel like that is one thing for curly girls. Our length means so much to us for some reason, and I don't know why, but it does. And for me, my length meant a lot to me. As a kid, my hair, my hair, curly hair, was all the way down to my butt. And for some reason, I wanted to cut it. I cut it. Over the years, straightening it, it just got shorter and shorter and shorter. And I wasn't even cutting it, so I didn't know why it was getting shorter. It's getting shorter because I was straightening it. I don't even I don't even want to go back into my past of straightening, but it was really bad. That is one thing. Cutting your hair. Just I know it is gonna be short. A lot of us have that problem where it is gonna be short and we do not want our hair to be short. Those ends are what are holding your hair from flourishing and being what it could be, you know? It is, um, it's kind of just like people. You gotta cut them off, you know? So, cut those ends off. Look at the difference. You will not find just one long string and then a curl, you know? That is the difference. I, I don't wanna explain it without like, hairstylists will understand it, but not, um, people who aren't hairstylists, so I really want to explain it well. So, let me grab a curl. This is my curl. These ends, I could cut them right now because they kind of do need a little bit of a trim, but then it will be healthy. It will be a healthy strand of hair. The more my hair grows, the longer this part will get. Not the healthy part, the tore up, chewed up part. So as my hair grows, this is growing up. So your hair is getting more damaged and dry as you keep these ends, because you're holding on to it. So cut it, cut it, just cut it, it'll help. So another thing that really will help promote a lot more growth is actually doing scalp massages. Um, I didn't really believe in it until I, I knew, you know? Scalp massages help to stimulate your hair follicles. The blood starts flowing and um, it just promotes growth. So you could just kind of grab your hands and just rub your scalp. 
One, it's very relaxing, soothing, feels good, and it will also help stimulate your blood, help those hair follicles just grow. The next thing I really wanted to talk about is the porosity of your hair. This is something that is so important. It is crazy important. And you can have low porosity, medium porosity, and high porosity. Every hair texture has a different porosity. So I currently have very curly hair. I don't have kinky curly hair, but I do have curly hair. My curly hair is coarse. There are others out there who have curly hair like mine, but there, because my hair is coarse, theirs could be thinner, so it's not as coarse as mine. So our porosities are different, but we have the same type of curl, if, if, if that makes sense. It is not high porosity. I used to be high porosity. High porosity is when it creates, it creates more frizz. Put it this way, when you are in the shower and you're washing your hair, it doesn't take that long for my hair to get completely moisturized and just soaking wet. People with higher porosity hair, it'll take like a minute, maybe two, just to really get that water in there and for your hair to be completely soaked. When you get out of the shower, this is where you can really tell your porosity. If your hair stays wet for a long period of time and takes a really long time to dry, that means your hair has low porosity. That means that your cuticle is completely shut and that your hair is healthy, but it's not taking, it doesn't need as much moisture. It doesn't need um, so much moisture because it's holding it. So high porosity, high porosity, um, you get out the shower, with within minutes, your hair is frizzy. It's already almost dry. Putting in product in, it's already dry, you know? It's, your ends are drying up very quickly rather than anything else. Medium porosity is good. It's kind of like, or is, it's, it's kind of basically saying that your hair is healthy and that it is where it's supposed to be. It has all the moisture that it needs, but it can still obtain more moisture. It could still be more moisturized, but it's at a good level. High? isn't necessarily bad, but that's where your hair is. Low isn't necessarily good either, but that's just where your hair is. Medium is a pretty good place. It is that your hair is getting what it needs. It's healthy, it's getting the moisture that it needs, and you'll be able to tell when your hair is at uh, normal porosity. Let me read you the definition of normal porosity. It's when your cuticle layer is loose, but has no holes or gaps, just, just enough moisture enters without it leaving again. Needs a little maintenance, but good. I'm currently at right now, and I do have some areas of my hair that do have a little bit more high porosity, but most of my hair is normal porosity. To find out your porosity, take a shower and just get out. Don't put any product in. Day that you really just, you know, you're just at home, not doing much. Check out your porosity. That'll tell you where you kind of need to go from. Gurus, curly hair influencers, they're not really telling you their porosity. You need to go off of your porosity and your products. See, a lot of curl, curly hair types, as in low porosity, you shouldn't be using very heavy products because those type of products will really weigh your hair down and it's always people with low porosity who are saying, I need volume, I need more, you know? Well, those products that you are using that these curly hair influencers are telling you, they're just gonna weigh your hair down. They're not products that are heavy, they're not helping you out. And you need to start looking for products that are more defining to your hair, but they're lightweight. So light gels, light creams, things aren't that aren't so heavy and meant for people with coarse hair, hair and people with normal to high porosity. So me, I growing up, I had high porosity hair. So my hair was very dry and needed moisture and it needed more. And even when I would get my hair wet, it needed more moisture, you know? So now that I'm at a healthy place, my hair is normal porosity with a little bit of high in some places, you know, the places that create more frizz, which for me are usually in my back crown area. Heavier product, that's because my hair is coarse and it can take it and it needs it. Like, it wants that moisture, you know? I'm not gonna say, I, I was saying like, go find a stylist that matches your hair type, and you can, but go for somebody who matches your hair porosity.
you know? So those products that they are using, they're actually like really help, gonna help you, you know? Another thing that helps with your hair's porosity is the shampoos and conditioners that you are using. If you are going to Walmart, Target, Rite Aid, CVS, Walgreens, where, you know, those just drugstores, little stores, Target especially, and you are buying those shampoos and conditioners, you are buying the wrong products. I can promise you that. It's not helping your hair. And even if you're saying, oh, well, I'm buying Red Kid, I'm buying Joy Joyco, I'm buying these high-end products, but I'm getting them at Target, Walmart, all these other places, I'm telling you right here, right now, that those products are not good for you. You need to be buying your products from either a hairstylist, salon, or even Ulta. Ulta is where you can buy your stuff. Ulta is actually a salon itself to sell salon products. So their things are not tampered with. A lot of the things at Target, Walmart, CVS, those products are usually tampered with. There is such a big black market for hair products and they could be watered down, messed with, chemicals can be put in that weren't supposed to be in those. And you are saying that you bought these products and they're supposed to be helping your hair, but you don't see a difference. That is probably why. Now onto the shampoos and conditioners. A lot of people will tell you to wash your hair with cold water. I personally do not completely believe in that and a stylist tell, you, tell that too, but I believe that because I have curly hair, I know that when I wash my hair with just cold water, I do not feel anything coming off of my scalp. Not at all. Nothing is coming off. Um, when I'm using warm water, I'm not saying freaking hell water where it's so hot that you're dying. <laughs> I mean just warm water is the type of water that will get those products off of your hair. Cold water is not going to get any of that build up, build up off of your hair. Only warm water, hot water will. Only your shampoo and conditioner is affecting your hair. So when you are washing your hair, that warm water opens up your cuticles, opens up your ends, opens up at the top. So it is opening up your hair and that is when your shampoo goes in, your conditioners go in. Those are the things that are going into your hair strand and those are the things that are really gonna help build up your hair, make it healthier, heals from within and that is what's gonna help. The cold water is gonna just close up your cuticle. Pretty much covered everything that I kinda wanted to get out there. I am a licensed cosmetologist, so I do know, know the effects of certain things on your hair, you know? Products that I love, I'm really truly telling you them, are my honest, learned through school tips that I have for you guys. I hope they really help change your hair. That you can tell the effects by just these little tips and tricks and tiny things to change because it's not that big of changes besides actually buying the product. Your stylist is charging you cheap and stuff. I, I don't think that you should be going with them, you know? You have to look around, find someone who has a good price range for you, but also find someone who is an amazing stylist, who is really gonna help your hair, because there's so many stylists out there who are like, I'll do your hair for like 50 bucks, give me this, you know? And that's what you want, because that's a good price, but it's not gonna look amazing. What's so important is that you find someone who cares about the health of your hair so much and I have made mistakes where I just didn't care about my own hair, you know? So I know, you know, I want you to care about your hair too. Is an investment to get your hair done. It is an investment to get a good haircut for curly hair and I truly believe that. So find someone who is actually going to help you. That's so many times to find someone like that, but it's 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 true. Find someone who cares about you and cares enough to just put their love 
into your hair because I love your hair and I hope you love your hair too. If you would like me to do your hair, you can always come down to the Sacramento area because that's where I'm at. I've had a lot of people reaching out lately to want to get their hair done and I'm so happy and I'm so excited that you guys want to take your curly hair journey to the next level. So do it. But I would really love it if you guys kept watching my videos. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next. Uh, follow me on Instagram. It is your hairstylist Serena. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time.